Now we're going to switch gears and move to a different category of mental disorders, and those are dissociative disorders. These disorders produce extreme disruptions or gaps in memory, identity, or consciousness, and the DSM-5 puts them in their own category. This is a condition in which cognitive processes are disjointed and fragmented. This disorder often stems from exposure to trauma or extreme stress, and even physical or sexual assault that occurs, and it's most likely to occur during childhood. Individuals with dissociative identity disorder will develop at least two separate independent identities. Now this used to be called multiple personality disorder. These individuals experience two or more distinct personality states, amnesia, and self-destructive behaviors. Here, a person may find themselves at a hotel and not remember how they got there. They may injure themselves or not be able to remember a particular experience in their life. This is reportedly due to the fact that the other personality is the one engaging in these behaviors. This disorder is another example of a position that psychologists disagree on. Some psychologists don't agree that this is an actual diagnosis. Some even suggest that the separate personalities are ultimately produced by the therapist. So we see here that some psychologists state that this is a real disorder and some state that it's not. Now let's go back to Susan to talk about disorders that affect the body and the mind.